Yo, what is going on today, YouTube? Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Today, we're cooking in the patch 11.4. We're giving you guys the top three gods to be playing in every role. We'll also be giving you guys builds for all of them. Let's jump right in, starting with Solo. Solo laners got that new Equinox item, so I had to add a couple Equinox gods, but there's still one character that does not really care about Equinox, and he's still very dominant, and that is Odin. Bobble's nerf, I do, I do think, takes it out of that must build actually it's really not build at all now but it's certainly not in the must build for odin this is the build that i've more so more so been rocking i really like breastplate with bluestone on odin yes you're missing out on glads in this build but then it allows you to go prudwin and you feel very strong you can go redstone also and this works just as well this is just a little bit more utility a little bit more survivability uh survivability a little less damage the other one's a lot more damage next up Valona, this character is insane. Very hard to deal with, a lot of damage, incredible sustain. Again, I talked about this yesterday or two days ago or whatever. You can build either Death's Temper, or sorry, Death's Embrace or Axe of Animosity. Both are fine. Axe gives you a little bit more protections. Death's Embrace gives you a little bit more cooldown and a little bit more sustainability. I think both are fine. The only thing that really matters is the Equinox, and I think Arcstruas just feels fantastic right now. Lastly, for Soul Laners. No surprise, I've been talking about this god on my stream for a while. Vumana is so incredibly strong. 1v5 machine. He is good early with Equinox, but this still doesn't make him like 1v5 insane. But he does become 1v5 insane when he gets to full build. Very hard to deal with. A lot of safety. Give Vumana a try. Dominate some games with him. Next up in jungle. And we're not doing Erlang this time. I think Erlang is still very, very good, especially with the Equinox buff. We're doing three non-Equinox gods because I think it would be boring to have just a bunch of Equinox gods. But I think honorable mention in this jungle tier list to have like Erlang, Osiris, Gilgamesh maybe with Equinox in the jungle. I'm just not going to talk about them because I think they're really strong, but I think they're not really hyper carries like these three gods are. And number three is Loki. Bobble out the window. So new build without Bobble. A lot of damage, a lot of cooldown, 1v5 potential in the late game. I think Bumba's hammer is insanely broken. This build feels fantastic on Loki. The newly buffed Lancelot. Yeah, they weren't the biggest buffs, but I, I think they're enough to warrant Lance jumping into the top three. I think he was nearly top three before this patch, and now a little bit more damage on his two. Faster stacks faster, and then his three allows him to turn a little bit more often. He's doing so much damage, he's very hard to deal with. Lance is not the greatest late game character though, so keep that in mind. He does maybe fall off a tiny bit in team fights. I think his 1v1 potential is still very good, but yeah, his his late game potential is not nearly as strong. But early game, especially with Erendite's buff, I think he's very, very hard to deal with and very strong. Third jungler, my most hated jungler in the entire game. That starts with D and ends with I. Dodgy. So much strength in her kit. Very strong into the meta mid laners right now, or a lot of the good mid laners right now. But she's still very good also in 1v1s. Very good at wasting time, even if she doesn't have a good matchup into at the enemy mid laner. And then she also has just the chance to pick the enemy support almost whatever she wants. For supports, easy enough. So back. Nothing's changed. He's not gotten nerfed. And I think Gem is actually very strong on him. Also, every 2.5 seconds, you can now proc a 30% slow and also reduce shields by 50%. Sobek likes this item. You can pluck and then two and then just stand in front of them. And then when they start walking away again, you can three to get another gem proc onto them. And then as they're about to get away, you pluck them back. And it's just... And there's nothing they can do about it. This should show you that I've just been really liking Gem. I played this in a ranked game yesterday and... I was hard carrying with this gem. It makes it very hard for junglers to dive, very hard for junglers to kind of get away also. Same with warriors. Your damage has also helped out a lot with this gem of isolation. And then low key, the CCR from that and the, the CCR from Wingblade just gives you that little extra CCR to make you a lot harder to deal with. Sil felt great. Give him a try. The build is also fantastic. Lastly, for supports, Bacchus is entering into that top three. Do I think he's number one? No, I think Sobek is probably still my number one. But if you get to late game with this build, you are a 1v5 machine, like actual 1v5. Maybe not through like pure damage, but through your utility, enough damage, your anti-heal. You do enough to be able to carry the game. So 
Bacchus is making that top three. Top three mid laners currently on this patch. Cuckoo's got to be mentioned in that top three. I think I will also give an honorable mention to Thoth as a top three. Him and Cuckoo are kind of in that same spot. I just think Cuckoo's a lot easier to make look okay if you're kind of like newer to mid. If you're a more veteran mid laner, Thoth is going to be, I think, better. But Cuckoo's just very hard to deal with. Very safe. With this build, you can either go Deso or Rod last. Deso gives you that 30% cooldown, also the cooldown resets. Rod gives you slightly more one-shot potential with a sneeze into a three. Either's fine. I think I'd probably go Deso, but... Either way, this build is insane. You do a whole ton of damage, and you're very hard to deal with. And a surprise entrance into the top three, if you haven't been paying attention to a lot of the recent patches, I think E set is so, so, so broken. Whatever item you went, whether it was Deso or Book or whatever, I think it is just as strong as a spike. You have movement speed. You've got a lot of survivability. Your damage with this build is, is insane. It's very hard to dive. It's just everything about it. And then on top of that, she's good early game. She's good on objectives. She's very, very hard for junglers to kill, especially when she gets a little bit of damage online. Speaking of hard to kill, ta-da! Zhong. This is, it's just, especially in ranked, this character is just near impossible to deal with. Your team has to be on the same page. If they're not, Zhong can just run through your entire team. I've now played a couple games with this character, and it's just so free. It's very, it feels like you have to try to want to lose to lose. Only recommendation is blink. Make sure you have blink to get to the enemy backline. You're not a frontline killer. Can you kill them? Absolutely. Do you want to be focusing their frontline? Not really. Uh, so make sure you're buying blink, blinking out of their backline and putting this damage onto them. Next up, hunters. I'm putting none to the top three. I, I think this character is so incredibly broken. Late game, is she killable? Yes. And like early game, is she gankable? Yes. But literally any god can be ganked and killed if played poorly. All you have to do is just use your brain a little bit, play a little bit safer if you don't know where the jungler is. And if you're playing against a few other um, supports that maybe gank dual lane a little bit easier, play smart, ward up a little bit. But this character's damage and 1v1 potential is unrivaled. This is the Zapman build that he's been rocking on her. Sils is the one that Plays told me a lot about. It is so strong. Like, I cannot rave enough about this build, this god, and this damage. It's so insane. Give it a try. Let me know what you guys think. Number two, on her. I think on her is one of the few gods that still makes crit feel good. And I think it's like this combo is death temper, death bringer, Aussie. Like the, this, these six items together are just really cozy on on her. Extra damage from death temper and a little bit of attack speed. Aussie is giving attack speed and life steal. Rage death bringer is giving you still a lot of power and a lot of crit. The death bringer, death temper, basic attack damage increase scales with each other and also with critting. So if you hit for a hundred and then you crit. You get that crit damage, which brings you up to whatever. And then Deathbringer brings you up to whatever, even more. And then Death Temper brings you to that next level. And it's just so much damage ramp. Dom and Exe, that first auto is not going to be useless like it is if you don't have Dom. And then you ramp up with this Exe. Like, this build is just, mwah. it's so insane. Lastly, the snoozer himself, Hachiman. No downside to this character. He's really strong. Does a lot of damage. We're very safe. No bad matchups. Good into everything, bad into nothing. Like, give me a downside to this character. I'll pin your message if you if you get something that's a downside to this character. Because there's, like, nothing. Hachiman is going to be your best hunter again. But there it is. That is the video. The three best gods in every single role. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Drop down below anybody that you guys think I missed. Hey, are you big on Thoth? And maybe I should have put Thoth in that top three. Let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll see you guys again next time. Peace.